memories will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Time to die. Hey, welcome, Black everyone. <laughs> welcome, everyone, to the channel. I'm Brad Smith, and this is the Fallout 4 playthrough. And nope, we haven't done the time warp again yet. We are, however, getting ready to do Austin After Dark. Hmm. All right. So it is November, early November. I've already been a member of the railroad for some time. And, uh, Yeah, so it's uh, we're we're gonna have a good time, everyone. Uh, let's see, just out of curiosity, how much? Hmm. So evidently, my the damage scale. I didn't know this, but evidently the damage will scale. You know, according to your weapons, so I did not know this, but that's okay. Okay, and let's listen to the tape. I remember when we had a thing called notes. And we didn't have to do this. Oh, come on. All right. Old man Stockton, not Stockman, Stockton. Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy contact. God. I've been talking about Logan's Run so much that I, um, well, I had the series. Yes, there was a TV series in the late 70s, um, and, uh, with uh, Gregory Harrison as Logan and Heather Menzies, who was married to, uh, Oh God, the goddamn brotherhood. Okay, I don't have range with the, do you have range with the big iron? I think I'll be Shoot the vertebrae, damn it.
Oh god, he had to shoot a tiger. Oh hell. Oh, what have I done? Oh, god. Oh god, what the hell? Oh Jesus! Okay. Well, um... Alright, I'm switching back to my... To my... Oh, come on, do I... Oh, God, this must scale down. Like I said... Oh, there, see, I got him. Uh, can I get this one? Ooh, excuse me. All right. As I was saying, <laughs> oh, jeez. Just die. Nope, like that. Yes, there was a Logan. Well, anything to salvage? Yeah, I know, we're not alone. Oh, well, we got a Brotherhood guy right here. Huh, you want a bomber jacket? No bottle, no brain, are ya? Oh. Uh, yes, as I was saying. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> Kiss it all goodbye. All right, uh, we're gonna go through this way. Uh, yes, there was a a show based on the movie Logan's Run, and uh, of course they used a lot of stock footage in the pilot and throughout the series from from the uh, for the TV show, like shots of the dome cities and and things like that. But um, yeah, Gregory Harrison played Logan. Um, Logan 5, and, um, what was... Because they vanished for good. Maybe. We're just gonna go, Piper, we got... Gotta get going. I dawdled long enough. There we go. Um... And Donald Moffat, the late Donald Moffat, uh, played Rem, the android. All right. Okay, what time is it? All roots and rumors lead to Bunker Hill. Hey. What can I do? All right, what well, she have Piper. to... Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than a sweet lie. Okay. So you yeah, don't have much to say. Sure. Okay. You there. Caravan or raider? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. All right. Hmm. 
Someone's not interested in visitors. Can't believe Kessler keeps this town together. Between the caravan bosses and the raiders. Yeesh. Oh. Alright, here's old man Stockton. Excuse me. Welcome, Ooh, my can friend. I get a minute? Might I ask, you. do you have Excuse the me. Geiger count? Piper right. Public occurrences. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine. The ser oh, Logan's friend. It only oh, lasted for our about friends. Yes. 14 episodes. Uh, let's speak covertly. Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security. Anyway, it only lasted for unnecessary an episode. Is I don't think it, all of them even aired. Okay. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Wouldn't want to miss any stops along the route now, would we? Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could. So, I just need to wipe out a few raiders. Done. <laughs> I like you already. We're supposed to make the delivery at night, so once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Okay. Girl can get real comfortable in a place like this. Oh, uh, let's check out the wares. Wait a second. Where is everyone? What did did they just? What what the hell? What kind of? Hey, you there? We need to have a conversation. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. We have before. Uh, you don't remember it, but I do. But we never. Um, I never got. I never got back in touch with you. I'm sorry. So you got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous <laughs> situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Well, I try. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. All right. Okay, so, uh... Oh god, you know, I want to buy something, but... Hi, I'm Meg. Hey, no offense, but you ain't caravan folk. Beat it. Oh god. Hi there. Hi, I'm Meg. And you new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Um... Uh, any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. <laughs> well, hello. I might be a doctor one day. Or maybe a sharpshooter. Okay. You know, I've never gone up here. Jesus. Excellent. Oh. Oh God, that could have been bad. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. 
so yes, uh, Logatron, uh, it's, it's fun to watch the series now because, um, well, what was that? Is that just, um, uh... oh god, what is that? Oh god. Oh god, I thought so. Yeah, you do what you do. God. See so what damage was my weapon doing? Oh, one ninety five. Oh God, it was scaled down that far. Jeez. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's. Oh. Do we have caps to pick up? No, we don't. All right. So yeah, it only lasts about. Uh, it's fun to watch these days because. Um, a lot of actors that you probably reckon, you know. Okay. Okay, we don't go down this way. Answer that right now, or else we'll start off the Automaton DLC. I really don't want to do that yet. Piper, don't do anything stupid. Yeah, I think they'll be doing that for a while. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Master Stockton said I shouldn't say anything. Hey, H2. And from what I've been told, it's probably time for me to go. If I don't say anything. Keep H2 safe. I don't want to put you in any more Someone danger. will be here shortly. Jeez. Easy there. Don't shoot. Fix her. Right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good. Now, let's take a look at our friend. 
Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. I told you right, H2. We'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than Raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. Yep. More Raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. All right, Ticonderoga, here we come. I'll lead the way. All right. Okay, did we bottleneck? Damn it, where the hell is H2? I'll be up soon. What am I? Hey. Myself. They're back. You safe, H2? You gotta keep moving. Let's just go. Oh, move. Okay. Hey, high rise. We can catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. Well, I thought. And we're here. All in the night's work. <laughs> Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, is this a normal operation? More than I'd like. Sometimes I can sneak our friends through all by my lonesome. But other times it's like the damn raiders are holding a convention. Working with you made it a whole lot easier. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. The house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Oh, oh, oh.
We just got shot down by my synth with a communist laser pistol. How unpatriotic is that? Uh, did you get the others? All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Where's that asshole Carrington? There he is. Hey, Doc, the H-222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all the two safeguards. I want you to check on Augusta. I'll get it done. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. All right, well, first... What you got for me? Hey, Piper. Something you need? Your thoughts? Right behind you. Are things all right between us? Well, things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. It's time we each went our own way. Sure thing. I'll head home. <laughs> Talk to John at the Super Salon. Take a look a little sure. All right. Uh -huh. I'm buying any, I'm buying any uh, Shanxi. There we go. Another one! Mine! 
Oh my, oh well, wait a second. Let's see if I have a modified version. Okay, don't see that. Okay. Got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, <laughs> cold blooded Blood murder. murder, hot blooded murder. Yeah, we need to. Um, I'll take a look. Sure. Purchase a variety in case. Uh, everyone, in, everyone in this town is hiding a secret. And I want to know what hers is. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Wait a second. Now I've jumped up to 250. Yeah, I think, again, this is using, I scale, I give a scale. Which is okay, that's cool. Got some good deals. You won't believe what's in the is it food or not section. I probably won't. Let's see what you have. Cash or trade. Let's get started. Alright. Nothing here. something we gotta do.
All right. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. I see you looking round the corner. Come on inside. Uh, whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace, Malarkey. And you should. Alright, everyone, and here she is again. Magnolia. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? God, I love this song. A broken down dream. You're tired of chasing. Ooh, well, just the girl to I should be wearing my John Wick suit. So we're glad you dropped. Oh, come on. Loosen up your tie. Yes, this is Magnolia, and she is a sin. Yes. She... If... If you listen to her songs, her story, is, you know, she, she tells her story through her songs. Um, so I think at some point she got help from the railroad. And ended up here and uh, has been singing ever since then. Now, is your motor running close to empty? And of course, she is voiced by running from yourself. Uh, by Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman for a brand new kind of pleasure. Um, and it, I think I've explained this before. Come on. Yes. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you're going to order? I don't need anything. Come back when you're paying. That's right. Actually, I'm going to switch to... Good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break. Beautiful as always, Mags. Thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of the good stuff. Just Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? No, I don't. <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Oh, let's see. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Yeah. Me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. 
Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Okay. Uh, Linda Carter's late husband, Robert Altman, who was a, a lawyer, uh, became a partner in uh, Bethesda Games and Max. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Oh, well. That's okay. Life is good. Uh, Linda Carter was a... Her husband, Robert Altman, was uh, an owner, executive for uh, Bethesda, Zenimax. Ooh, wait a second. Excuse me. You're from Sanctuary Hills, aren't you? Aren't you? Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. <laughs> I'm a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Here we go. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? Uh, of course, if you play the vanilla game, game, this is the guy who that you buy the vault policy from. And when uh, your character and your spouse try to... Before you even start, Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Um, are you... When uh, you're trying... When the characters are trying to get into the facility, guess what? Yeah, they won't let them in. Okay, so we are You're going to come in. King Carla. You again. Here to trade? Let's see what you've got. Here's what I got. Not much. Not much. Not much at all.
All right, so I built uh, I built some shelters. I even put you know electricity in them. I, maybe I need to put doors up. I'm kind of hoping that they will do that themselves. But um, they should have plenty of beds. Uh, so uh, someone removed the body of yeah. Okay. All right. So I am going to use this for the base of operations. Oh God. Oh God. All right, shice.
Yeah, well, that didn't do you a lot of good, no, it did it. I hope I turn you into ash because I don't want your stinking body in my safe house. Oh. I love the music in the background. <laughs> So... There's a rat that don't. What the hell? Oh God! I'm so sorry.
Good lord. Dear God. Good lord. Sorry, God. I just. That I feel kind of bad about. Alright. Oh, um. God damn. see y'all soon. Hopefully this won't happen again. But, you know, it's life. And, you know, as they say in um, Z Nation, it's the post-apocalypse. Shit can get pretty weird. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Take care and have a good one. Be seeing you.